makes sense. But Alex, the big announcement came at the end of the show. Elden Ring, mm. it's real. It came, it's from software's next big game. After Sekiro, yeah. Elden Ring, and then it went quiet. Few leaks here and there, but bam, it hits with a big trailer. And Alex, this is how yeah. you do a trailer with gameplay yeah. mixed with it. You know what I mean? Um, January yeah. 21st, 2022, sooner than a lot of people thought. A lot of people thought it probably would be fall next year. This is big, mm. man. A from soft game. Yeah. Coming to PS5, PS4, all of the platforms as well. Um, your thoughts, because from the looks of it, this looks like Demon Souls open world style. This looks big. Yeah, it does. It looks like Demon Souls, Lord of the Rings, and every old school demon slaying clasher um, just rolled into one. And it looked gorgeous. It was a great presentation for the um, for Elden Scrolls. I mean, it actually looked like a really massive game. You know, sorry, Elden Ring, Elden Scrolls. Um, but yeah, it looked it looked like a it looked like a movie. It looked like it's just going to be like a massive high budget movie. But I've never been a fan of the franchise before. But I'm ready to I'm the dive same. into it and I'm see exactly what it's all about. Yeah, I yeah. Didn't so, play, um, yeah. I didn't play the Dark Souls games. Never played mm-hmm. Demon Souls on PS3. Didn't play Sekiro. Yep. Uh, didn't play Bloodborne, mm. which many people call the greatest video game of all time, and that's a lot of people say that Bloodborne yeah. is that, and that's yeah. where like. Yeah, yeah. Where's the PS4 the PS4 Pro patch? Doesn't not forget the PS5 version. It didn't even get a PS4 Pro <laughs> patch. So who knows? Maybe yeah. after Elden Ring, the patch or a PS5 version of Bloodborne will come. But you know, yeah. um, after playing Demon Souls, um, mm. which was ridiculously hard anyway, uh, yeah. I, I'm more interested in Elden Ring. I don't think I'll play it straight away. I think I'd wait to see. You know, because if it's harder than Demon Souls, you can forget that I'm not playing mm. it. But yeah, yeah, I'm intrigued. But the question is, obviously, for someone who finished Demon Souls, I looked at it and I thought Blue mm-hmm. Point's visuals are, were better than mm-hmm. this. I can't play an Elden Ring game if its visuals are worse than Demon Souls, yeah. right? So yeah. we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but it's exciting times, we'll you know. See. And I think yeah. Mirisaki's son, you know, a lot of the developer, everyone is really excited about Elden Ring. I think it's going to be a huge game. It and it's releasing in that Resident Evil window that usually is accompanied by Resi 7 or Village or Resident yeah. Evil 2. It's going to come out January 21st. It's going to come out unopposed as well. Yeah. And it's coming out on everything. And it's not coming out territorially wise, it's coming out worldwide. It's going to have voiceovers for everywhere around the world. Nice. Dude, this game is going to do Resident Evil numbers on launch. I think it's going to sell. Yeah. Exactly. What did Resident Evil do? Three million in a week or something like that. I think this will do like two million. You know, not as big a Resident Evil, but it will do close to Resi numbers. Like it's going to be massive. Mm. You know. Um, yeah. 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 But oh, can't wait. Big game. Yeah. Um, 